Hi guys, my name is Lucas and continuing your videos of how to use the LLVM test structure. In this video, we will learn how to create our own tests using the LLVM integrated tester tool or LIT. So LIT is the LLVM test runner. As we see in the previous video, it is responsible for run to run all the tests present in the LLVM compiler files. But it's a simple Python script, which allows us to work with this, with this tool, with this script, outside the LLVM tree. We can install it without the LLVM compiler, for example, using the, the PIP. And why should we use a test runner? Why should we use a test structure? for our programs or for our pro projects. If you are using um, the LLVM structure to work, so if you're creating tools for the LLVM, you need to test them. And the, the main test running for the LLVM compiler is the lit. So in this case, you need to use it. But outside the LLVM structure, um, lit provides us some interesting features. One of these features is the test discover. So instead of pass um, each single test file that we need to run, um, you can pass to, to the tool an entire directory or entire test suite and let the, the, the tool search for the test files and run them automatically. Another good reason because it's easy to use so you can configure your whole task with three lines of code and it's simple to write your test scripts these test scripts or test files or or a small piece of shell code that the the lead will run auto automatically for you so let's learn to use this tool um, the first step is the installation process. So there are two ways to install this tool. The first and more simple is by using pip install lit, or if you already have a LLVM build, you can find it inside the binary files. And in this video, we will create a test suite from zero. So we will demonstrate how you can create your tests and configure your test structure. So let's start. And one thing we need to know is that our test structure must follow the LLVM test suite structure, but there's no secrets in, in this. We will see later. And for this video, I made a simple test suite to exemplify how you can create your own tests. And the test suite have the following structure. First, we have the main directory, uh, the root of our tree called my test suite. Inside of it, we have the lit configuration file. This is the file that lit you read to, to load all the configuration for this test suite. Let's see what, what we have inside of it. The lit configuration file it's a simple Python script that we, we need to pass our configurations to the tool. So we, import, we need to import the little format, and inside of that, we have several configurations available. But only two configurations are required. The first one is the name. So here uh, I call in my test suite example. And the second one is the test form. Um, in this configuration, we need to, to inform the type of tests we will read for our programs. So I'm using the shell tests here. And the stored configuration of suffix, I'm, I'm just, I just am passing. And this stored configuration, the config.suffix, I am just informing to delete that the test files we will end with the dot test. And inside of my test suite directory, we have some program directories. Um, the first one is this palindrome. And inside of, inside of it, 
we have the palindrome.ctp that is a program source file and um, this program is a, a pretty simple program that verifies if a word is a palindrome or not so it reads a word from the standard input and the output is one or zero in form if the, if the word is a palindrome or not and we have an input file so i'm passing the word reviver and the expected output the expected output is just one because reviver is a palindrome and inside of it we have the palindrome.test it's the shell script to test if the program is correct or not and here we have the test file so in the first line i'm compiling the program and in the second line i'm calling the program and comparing the study output with the expected output the lit tool give us some macros to use in these in these shell scripts and the most common macros are the percent s so this macro indicates the test directory the current test directory and the percent t it's a temporary file so if you so as you can see um the first line of the shell script i'm calling the program i giving the name t to the program and the second line i'm calling the program by this person t and comparing with the expected output and the last thing you need to know is that the exit code of the last line of code so in this case the comparison of the output with the expected output will be will indicate if the test pass or not so if the exit code is zero it will pass and if the exit code of this line is one or any number different from zero the pass will not pass and for the program square i'm doing the same thing and finally to run the test um, it's a pretty simple process now that we have configured all the files if you want to run the tests for the entire test suite for the all the programs inside the test suite we can call the lit the lit to the entire test suite but if you want to run the the tool for a specific program you can call it for the desired directory so in this case i'm calling the elite I'm calling the test only for the square program and the output will be something like that the first line indicates the number of tests that the tool found um, in the directory you passed so in this case it will find two tests because i I have run for the entire directory and each line after that we will indicate the name of the test found so palindrome.test and square.test and if the test pass or not and with this we reach the end of this presentation I hope you enjoy it and all the reference uses to, to this video will be on the description. But if you have any questions, you can contact me by this email address or let your, your comment in this video. And feel free to access the other videos of this channel and our lab website. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.